So, nice move. All right, now the biggest. Uh, Jasmine currently up about 9% in the last 24 hours. Uh, I think the last time I analyzed Jasmine, I told you guys, you know, I thought the pullback was coming to an end if the end was not in. I told you guys that I remember. That was yesterday. And I didn't think, you know, this pullback was going to take out these lows right here. All right, always, always, guys, when there's a pullback, never react. The only time you should react is if a if a certain key level is broken or if you if you play with moving average if your moving average is broken. so this is a really nice move now right now this looks really good but uh in order for this to continue of course we got to break above you know i believe it's like three cents if not if not 29 okay i think it's three cents definitely three I do think we are going to break above, you know, three cents. Uh, I don't know if it's within this move right here. I think it's more likely because uh, I don't see something like this. Now, this is a short term outlook right here. I don't see something like this. Like, I don't see a top and I don't see a pullback that takes out these low. I just don't see a scenario like that where, you know, we pull back and take out these low. Uh, what I do think is happening right now is. This move will continue, and we break above this high right here, all right? And then we push all the way up to 33, I believe, and that's where the next resistance is. Uh, but this is a move that I got to zoom out for this. Though. This is a move on the daily that should be able to take us to the highs of 2020. Uh, more on the weekly, actually. That should be able to take us to you know, the highs of 2024. So I'm going to back to saying, if you don't have a position already, you're starting to find yourself in a position where you're chasing after the price, actually. All right. Because if you look at this, you look at this setup right here, guys, uh, we do have a clear pattern that is playing out. This is your higher lows. All right. This is your higher high. This is the higher high. And so far right now, it looks like this is a higher low. All right. So if I use the path, what you have looks like this chat. All right. And this next one is going to push all the way up. So personally, I think the days to get a, a great bargain, I think those days are coming to an end. Right? If you can get in above three look if you're getting above three cents i just i just don't think look are you going to make profits yes but it's just not the same you know you're missing that you're missing that 50 percent movement that just changes your overall returns actually no you're missing about an 80 percent move right this is why you know, accumulating at the right time is so crucial, man. Like if you, you're not in it at the right time, you just find yourself in a position where it's just not the same. So, Jasmine looked pretty good. Uh, if I was to make a prediction by the end of December, all right, look, it could be higher. But once again, you know, let's try to be more conservative. We're not, you know, we're not think of crazy numbers. So I'm going to say 44, all right? Just above, you know, 4 cents, guys. Uh, this is a pretty crazy move, of course. Almost a 100% move. This is about a 70% move. Uh, if it is higher, even better. Uh, but let's just try to manage our expectation from, uh, from this project. And as you guys can see, in terms of, you know, not giving up. Like, I do not give up on this project. You see daily updates despite the performance all right performance is bad is good we'll do an update the jasmine looks pretty good all right a bunch of projects man there's a bunch of projects right here that are looking really really good right uh you got polka i haven't talked about polka for some time polka had a really nice move all right this was a consolidation phase right here guys this was a time to actually get in uh we do have a bullish confirmation right here on the daily uh, if you go to the weekly, look, almost got back, you know, the entire gains from, um, 
from 2024, like literally within, uh, within, you know, two, three weeks. Uh, this pullback, you should be taking advantage of it right now. Like, I mean it, guys, right now. Uh, I'm on the daily right now. Uh, my 21 moving uh, moving average is around $6.45. Price of Polkadot, $8.47. Uh, you look at the pullback, you know, we've gone from ten dollars holy smoke man all the way down to seven dollars and fifty something cents look this was a great buy right here once you get a 20 percent pullback in a bull market you should be super super aggressive uh if you go to the four hour time frame you know retest the moving average we are seeing a bounce right now um yeah this looks really good like this looks really really good i can tell you guys that uh, if we do get it, let's say we end up with a drop right here, which, you know, it's not the worst thing. The level that's important is this. Look, you got to keep your eyes on $5 and uh, I think it's like five fifty, right? We can pull all the way down. We just can't take out these lows. You take out these lows, you're playing with fire, guys. I don't know if this right here, uh, this one is not really obvious. Like this one is obvious. All right, four dollars and seventy cents. So I don't think we take out these lows right here. Uh, but uh, yeah, anywhere you know, anywhere around here, I think we should be, you know, building a position if we, you know, if this is a project that we that we like. Okay. Um, what was about the? Oh, I was about to bring my two hundred. So you see the two hundred moving average right here. We had this breakout, consolidated right on the two hundred moving average. This was like this was basically your last opportunity. Uh, right now in the eight dollar, look, I think Polkadot right now is gonna try to you know to get back to all time high. I think it can absolutely get the job done. I like get back to all time high. Uh, look, if you look at move like this, man, from three dollars all the way up to ten in like three weeks, yeah, we can move from eight dollars all the way up to fifty five in like in a month. All right, in a month, guys, we can we can pull these numbers. But uh, if I'm on the weekly right now, which I'm on the weekly, yeah. So if you're on the weekly, let me show you something that looks very interesting. If I put a trend line right here and work my way down, right? This is your breakout right here, chat. I'll go to the monthly. Look at the monthly right here. It's exactly the same thing. So if you do get November to close above this yellow line, that is going to be very, very bullish. And if you you're right here on the monthly, I mean, look how crazy this is. On the monthly, in terms of resistance, when you go to the monthly, it simplifies things. This is what you got to deal with. All right. On the monthly, you got 11. Yo, we're going to blast above 11. You got 23. We're going to blast above 23. And you got all time highs. All right. This stuff is not complicated, guys. All right. So if this is your entry, if you are a long-term holder, you're looking at a 5x. This stuff is not complicated, chat. All right. This is not something that's complicated. All right. This is very easy. You just have to be patient because this is a monthly chart. So, you know, you're looking at monthly candles. If I was to estimate, like, how long is it going to take? For Polkadot to get back to all-time highs. Look, we just got to look at the last bull market. One, two, three, four, five. All right, this is five, you know, monthly candles. All right, so I think within the next five months, including November, yo, you're looking at an all-time high. All right, you are looking at an all-time Look, monthly candles like this, they take the price to all-time highs. So give it about five months, you're looking at a 500% move. Uh, can we get that, you know, can we get there quicker? You know, of course. Uh, but once again, you know, we want to be conservative. You know, we don't want to be the people that, you know, every, in every live stream, they, you know, they talk about how these old coins are going to turn next, you know, in the next 24 hours. That's just not realistic.